Hello, my name is Jana Davidson and I serve as the Education Content Specialist with the Progressive Agriculture Foundation and the Progressive Agriculture Safety Day Program. Today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about building your own helmet to teach in a hands-on activity with your children at a Progressive Agriculture Safety Day. Uh, I feel this is a very important topic because it extends onto many different subjects we teach at our Progressive Agriculture Safety Days. We teach things like the importance of bike helmets and keeping our brain and our head safe at all times. We also, at several safety days, focus on different subjects. That could be on ATV safety. Maybe we talk more about equestrian safety and the importance of helmets when we ride our horses. And we also touch on helmets when we're talking about sporting events and just the importance of keeping our head safe at all times. So I'm gonna give you a couple options that you can utilize to um, incorporate the importance of a helmet at your safety day. Um, this first model here is uh, something that's already put together for you. This is an egg helmet. This is available through our friends at CASA, the Canadian Agricultural Safety Association out of Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And they have um, helped gather these egg helmets and they are for sale um, through, the, through the CASA organization. So again, already put together, um, but I will show you how you can utilize this if you're able to get this at a, as a prop. So you wanna start out with an egg. Medium, medium size usually work well, medium to large size. I always like to put it into a Ziploc baggie here just to keep it safe in case we have a moment where the egg happens to break because we're gonna utilize this um, also to show the egg breaking and the importance of, or what happens when you don't wear your helmet. So I wanna put my egg snugly in this helmet. I wanna take my straps get them up along the side. Sometimes here you might have a little more air in your bag. So you want to make sure you can kind of get that out of the way. So let's get our straps around. Um, there is the ability to pull this tight just like you would on your helmets. There we go. So we have that all in place. And then you're going to want to drop this. Usually we recommend dropping it from anywhere from 18 inches to maybe two feet, and you'll see the reaction. But I'll drop it right here on the table. And as you can see, when I open this back up, our egg is perfectly intact, meaning that when we have our helmet on, our head is in good shape. Uh, you also, to really emphasize the point, you may wanna take this egg, drop it from the same distance just in the baggie, to see that when you're in, without your helmet, you won't be so lucky. So again, our friends in Canada, this is an easy prop that you can purchase right through the Canadian Agriculture Safety Association. However, um, for our other friends here in the US, you can easily make this prop at the same cost um, you would have if you purchased it in Canada. And I wanna give a special shout out and a thank you to my friend Dave Tui. He's with the Highway uh, Traffic Safety group in Pennsylvania and he was able to share this resource with me so I could share it with you today. Um, so what you're going to want to have to get started to create this helmet right here is you're going to want to go to just Walmart or another store like that that you have in your community. All of these resources that I have to build this prop cost less than ten dollars. Uh, you want to start out with a foam ball just like here, you're gonna find this in the floral department. Anytime when people are putting you know, floral arrangements together, they use a lot of these um, foam balls. So you wanna get one of these. You're also gonna to wanna to get some duct tape. I really liked using the bright colors, the bright orange, the bright pinks, other colors like that, because again, we can also emphasize the importance of reflectors and reflective, um, reflective being used to see folks when they're out bicycling at night maybe even horseback riding at night. You could always add, depends on where you're riding, you always wanna make sure that you're being seen. So you want that duct tape. The other thing you're gonna need is some Velcro that's gonna be used as the chin strap. So you're gonna to wanna to get some Velcro. And then some other resources that you're gonna to need to put it together is gonna to be a Sharpie and another knife here. And what you're gonna to wanna to do, uh, you're gonna start with this foam ball. You're gonna to wanna to cut it um, in half. I have the other half right here, so you see what, what the other half of this um, 
helmet looks like. I created this helmet just yesterday. It took me about five minutes, so it's not, you're not going to have a lot of time invested into it. And what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to um, measure out a space for that egg. So you're going to want to utilize your egg. You're going to want to utilize the Sharpie to kind of measure that out and make a, make a note of that before you start digging. And then you're going to use your box cutter and you're going to dig out that hole. And you're gonna, it's going to take you some, some time to do that. You're going to want to keep putting the egg in, make sure it fits. You want it to fit pretty snugly. Um, you'll see when I do the demonstration how it's very secure in that helmet. So you're going to want to make sure that egg fits very well. So those are some of the items that you're going to need to put it together. Um, once you have that hole cut out for the egg, you're going to then put the Velcro, um, wrap it around the helmet, and then you're going to start covering it with the duct tape to give it that actual look of a real helmet. So again, we're going to do that same demonstration just like we did. You can do it as a demonstration with the children and also hands-on activity where the children are coming up and actually partaking in this activity. So we're going to put our chin strap on just like we do with all of our other helmets. It's very secure in the helmet here. And again, same activity. We're going to drop it. Let's see how we did. Look, our head is perfectly fine thanks to having that helmet on. So again, same thing. Let's demonstrate it now. I can even demonstrate it here now that we're finished. Without the helmet, you're not so lucky, and that egg doesn't look so good. So again, just a very, very easy hands-on activity and prop that you can create to utilize at your safety day.